Hi, this is Eric Lofholm, and I want to welcome you to a very special video. And on this video, I'm going to teach you my time management and goal setting systems. And I've spent the last 22 years of my life studying the most powerful peak performance ideas, sales increasing ideas, goal setting, time management. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you some of the most powerful ideas. And, and beyond that, these are the actual systems that I personally use for planning my day and for goal setting. And I, I'm so excited to share this information with you. And the, the documents I'm going to walk you through, I've actually put them in my Facebook group. And you can find the Facebook group by typing in facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash ELI sales champion or do a search in Facebook under Eric Offholm hyphen sales champion community. You can join the group and you'll go into the files section in the group and you can get these two documents that I'm about to train you on. Now, this is going to be a very short video and I want to encourage you to watch it seven times. And that might sound like a little bit of an unusual request, but the reason I want you to watch it seven times is to learn these ideas on an unconscious level. It's like if you're driving in your car and you're listening to one of your favorite songs on the radio and you start singing the words to the song, when did you set a goal to learn the words to the song? Of course, the answer is you didn't. You learned practically to the point of memorization through repetition. So what I'm suggesting to you is this is decades worth of me studying goal setting and time management. These are some of the most the most profound ideas, and if you'll just watch this seven times, this little short video, you can learn decades of my life study in, in a matter of minutes. So make a commitment to yourself right now that you're going to watch this video seven times, and I want to encourage you to share this with other people in your life that could benefit from professional goal setting and time management training, and this includes students. My youngest student that was taught my goal setting system that I'm about to teach you, uh, she was five years old. So if you'd like your kids to receive professional goal setting training, just have them watch this YouTube video. So we're going to start off with my time management system. And it's a three step system. Step number one is to spend 14 minutes planning your day. And the significance of 14 minutes is if you do the math, there's 60 minutes in an hour times 24 hours in a day. It comes out to 1,440 minutes in a given day. 1% 1 of 1,440 minutes is 14 minutes. And that makes sense to me to take 1% of my day and plan my day in writing. Now, Alec McKenzie, who wrote the book The Time Trap, the greatest book I've ever discovered on time management, said the single most valuable idea – you ever learned about time management? And keep in mind, I believe he's the top expert ever on time management. His biggest idea was to plan your day in writing before the day starts. So my system, you spend 14 minutes planning. Number two, ask and answer your time management questions, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Number three, apply the 80-20 rule to your plan. So, what I discovered in my own journey of time management is that planning is the process of asking and answering questions in writing. Think about it. If you were going to plan tomorrow, what would you do? You start asking yourself questions. What do I need to accomplish tomorrow? What appointments do I have? Who do I need to follow up with? What are my goals? You'd ask yourself questions like this. And so I thought, okay, if planning is asking and answering questions in writing, why not create a list of questions to ask myself to plan an optimum day? So I created this concept of Eric's time management questions. And these are many of my questions right here. And when I plan my day, I spend 14 minutes. So right now as I'm looking at my clock, it's 11.23 a.m., and I, would, I might type it on my computer like this, put it right here, and I would just type down 11.23.
And the idea is I would block out the next 14 minutes and plan until 11.37. And what I would do during the 14 minutes is I'd ask and answer these questions right here. So I don't have to keep creating the questions every day. I just take the time out one time to create the list of questions to ask myself to plan an optimum day. Now, I've broken it up into three sections, pre-planning questions, and I ask all three of these sets of questions within the 14 minutes. So I ask my pre-planning, my planning questions, and my post-planning question. And the idea is to do all this in 14 minutes. This is the system. What's beautiful about the system is you know exactly what to do. And here's the bottom line, guys. It produces results. You do this every day that you do it, you can expect to be more productive. So all you have to do is take 14 minutes out on a daily basis, and you can expect to be more productive every day for the rest of your life. My intention is to do this every day. Now, in reality, I don't do it every day. You know, there's days that I get busy and it doesn't happen, but my intention is to do it every day, and it really makes a difference. This is a very simple, simple system, and it works. So the first question there, what level am I, uh, what level will I play at during planning? So my answer always is 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, I always write down 10. How long will I spend planning? So it, it'd go like this. If I was doing this on my computer, and sometimes I do it on my computer, I'd write 10. How long will I spend planning? I always write 14 minutes. Now, I may not spend 14 minutes, but I always write down 14 minutes. What those questions are, those are mindset questions. That's my way of telling myself, hey, Eric, play to 10. This is important. Block out these 14 minutes. What level am I committed to playing at today? My answer is always either 7, 8, 9, or 10. My commitment to myself is to play at a 7 or higher on a daily basis. What appointments do I have today? So I would answer that. What must I accomplish today? How can I generate leads today? What can I do to lead my team today? What will I do to stay organized today? How can I make $10,000 today? What deliverables can I create today, complete, or make progress on? So to me, a deliverable is defined as something that once it's done, it's done. Once it's done, it's done. So if, I, if I'm writing a book, I might make progress on writing the book. In my world, the book is a deliverable, special kind of goal, special kind of action item, because once it's done, it's done. So right now I'm teaching a live webinar. I have people from all over the world that are watching this webinar, and I'm producing this deliverable of this video for my YouTube channel. So once the video is done, once it's done, it's done. So that's one of my deliverables that I'm producing today. What can I do today? To move the needle and this is a mindset question and I'm somebody who's a high achiever and I'm up to big things in life so I like to think about where can I put time that's really going to make a difference today so that's what that question is about what are my two top outcomes for today what will I do to improve my health today so when I'm planning, it's not just a business activity because I think in terms of, well, this is my life. So my personal life, my business life, I create one plan for everything. What will I do for my kids, Brandon, Sarah, Bella, and Emily today? What will I do for my wife, Heather, today? What will I do spiritually today? And then I have my post-planning question. What are the two things on my list that when completed will create the most value? So when I create my list, let's just say I have 10 items on my list to accomplish. Here's my experience. I rarely get all 10 done. So if you're like me and you get overly ambitious with your day, or maybe you're not overly ambitious, but life shows up. You've got your plan, and then some things happen, and it throws you off your plan, which is very, very common. So my experience is this. I rarely, if I had 10 items on my list, 
get all 10 items done. So if I'm not going to get all 10 of my items on my list done, then I've got to prioritize. And one way to think about time, things that are urgent, like dropping the kids off at school, things that are important, making progress on a project, things that are valuable, like producing a deliverable or going and closing a really, really important account. You see, not all to-do items are created equal. And so if you start thinking about the things on your list and you focus on consistently, what are the things that I can do that will create the most value? So again, things that are urgent, things that are important, and things that are valuable. Things that move the needle tend to be things that are valuable. My experience is if you want to move your business forward faster, your life forward faster, it's about making better choices with your time. So if you're not going to get everything on your list done, if you could focus on the things that are going to create the most value, you'd be blown away at how you can improve the quality of your life. Some people, they live their life in urgency. Everything they're doing is all urgent, and they're not moving their life forward because everything is focused on urgency. One of the things that creates high value, in my experience, are systems. So I'm teaching you my time management system. So let's summarize the system. You spend 14 minutes. You ask and answer your time management questions, which you'll create. And those of you in the live webinar, we're going to actually do an exercise in a little bit. You're going to create your own list of questions. Those of you that are watching the YouTube video, I encourage you on your own to create your own list of customized questions to plan an optimum day. And then number three, you're going to apply the 80-20 rule to your plan, which is essentially identifying the two things when completed will produce the most value. You can successfully do that. I've done it for years in 14 minutes a day. Now, I just want to check in before we go into the goal setting content. I want to check in with those of you on the live webinar. And let me put all the hands down. So all the hands are down now. So here's my question for you on the live webinar. How many of you like this system and you believe if you did this consistently, it would increase your productivity. Hit the hand raise button if you believe if you did this system, it would increase your productivity. All right, fantastic. Barry has his hand up. Uh, Brett and Sherry, Brian. Bruce has his hand up. Christopher, Curtis, Dan, Dave, Don, Dr. Lynn. There's hands going up all over this webinar. There's people on the live webinar from all over the world right now. And what I love about the system, it's not that I created it. The only reason I created the system, I couldn't find anything better. Because I'm not a time management guy. I'm a sales guy. So I wanted to go find somebody that already did it so I could just model theirs. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything. And I love the simplicity of it. I love that all you need to do is just create your list of questions and go. Now, if you ever get off track and you go several days in a row and you don't plan your day, don't beat yourself up over it. Just tell yourself this. I'm one day away from getting back in the zone as it relates to planning my day. I'm one day away from getting back in the zone as it relates to planning my day. What I want to do now is I want to shift gears and I want to teach you my 10-step goal setting process. This is a very simple process and I'm going to provide you in just a matter of minutes, I'm going to professionally train you in goal setting. Now I wish that when I was younger that somebody had professionally trained me in goal setting and where I learned this is when I went to a, a Brian Tracy seminar and there was about a thousand people at the seminar. This is many, many years ago. And Brian Tracy asked the question, what is goal setting? And he asked for people to raise their hand, and people began to raise their hand, and Brian would call them, and the first person said, 
it, 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 as I remember, it's a dream with a deadline. Brian Tracy said, okay, what is goal setting? Another person said, it's writing down what you want to create in your future. Brian Tracy said, okay. Another person had their hand up, what is goal setting? It's creating an action plan for what you want to accomplish. So this went on for a few more answers. And Brian Tracy finally said, stop, you're all wrong. That's not what goal setting is. Now, as he said that, I became very curious to know, well, what is goal setting? Because I thought those answers were really good. If that's not goal setting, then what is it? And Brian Tracy said something that became life-changing for me. He said, goal setting is a process. So it's a set of steps in sequence. And on that day, Brian Tracy taught his seven-step goal setting process. Now, notice what's on the screen there. It's not seven steps, it's ten steps. So that was the very first time I was ever introduced to the idea of a goal setting process. And so Brian went through his seven steps and he said, look, you follow these seven steps and you're going to significantly increase the likelihood that you're going to accomplish your goal. And I got really excited about the whole idea with this new understanding of, oh, it's a process. So then I began to study goal setting processes. There's one in uh, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. Zig Ziglar has a goal-setting process. Tony Robbins has a goal-setting process. Brian Tracy had a goal-setting process. And I literally was on the hunt for every goal-setting process that I could find. And then I decided I want to create the ultimate 10-step goal-setting process. What I want to do is I want to study the best of everything I found, and then for me, decide what is the ultimate goal-setting process. I didn't know it was 10 steps. It ultimately ended up being 10 steps. So what you're looking at on the screen is my interpretation of the greatest goal-setting processes ever created in the history of the world. What you're seeing on the screen is my interpretation of Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Napoleon Hill, and the other handful of goal-setting processes that I found, and I looked at it and said, okay, what's the ultimate one? And this is it. It's what's in front of you. And guys, what's so beautiful about what's on the screen here, and by the way, you can go in the Facebook group, and you can, you can get this document. There's the Facebook group right there, and you just go under File. You can find the document, or you can screenshot it right now if you want. Screenshot what's there. You can write it down. If you're watching a YouTube video, you can pause it and write it all down. This right here, you apply this to your goals, and it's going to make a huge difference in your ability to manifest what you want. And there's nothing hard about this. There's nothing hard about it. It's like the combination to the law. Goal setting is the most widely endorsed personal development strategy in the world. So you want to get your college degree. You want to get hired at a company. You want to acquire an account. You want to own your home free and clear. You want to have a reunion with your family and get 90% of your family to personally attend the reunion. You want to create an event, some type of uh, event. You're doing a seminar or a webinar like this one. You do what's on the screen, and obviously you can't do it for every single goal, but the important ones, if you do this, you're going to manifest at a higher level. So step number one, Think about what you want and write it down. Here's what I discovered. Goal setting does not start with you writing your goals down. Goal setting.